Now in this next part then we have to actually work out the area which is given by this integral. And to do this integral what we've got to do is use the method of splitting this into partial fractions. So I'm going to go up here and we'll work out what 1 over t plus 1 t plus 2 is when expressed in partial fractions. So we'll start then with 1 over t plus 1 and t plus 2. Now this will be identical to, now because these two factors here are linear factors, that gives rise to partial fractions of the form of a constant over t plus 1 plus another constant which I'll call b over t plus 2. Okay, so we have that. Now what we do is multiply both sides of this identity by the denominator here, t plus 1 times t plus 2. And what that's going to give is 1 is identical to a times t plus 2 plus b times t plus 1. Now to work out the constants a and b, what we can do is take particular values of t which make each of these brackets or factors 0. And we'll start by saying letting t equal say minus 2. That will take out this bracket and make it 0, a times 0 is 0. So we'll be left with 1 equals and in this particular term here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so it would have minus b. And that's going to lead to b equaling negative 1. Similarly if I let t equal negative 1 it will take out this bracket so if I let t equal negative 1 we have 1 here equals a times negative 1 plus 2 which is 1 so we have a equals 1. Okay so we can now see that this reduces to the integral from 0 to 2 of a which is 1 over t plus 1 so we have 1 over t plus 1 and then since b is negative 1 we have minus 1 over t plus 2. A couple of terms here so again make sure you put these in brackets and it's all integrated with respect to t. So what is the integral of 1 over t plus 1? Well this is a natural log type because when you differentiate the bottom with respect to t you get 1 and that's sitting on the top here. So this becomes the natural log then of the mod of t plus 1. Similarly when we look at integrating this term here this too is a natural log type because when you differentiate the bottom you get 1 and that's sitting on the top here. So that's minus the natural log of the mod of t plus 2. Then we need to put this in square brackets with the limits going from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. Next we need to substitute our limits in starting with 2 so we have the natural log of the mod of 2 plus 1. Well that's positive anyway, that's going to be 3 so I don't need the mods anymore. Then we have minus, and we put the 2 in there, the natural log of 4. Next we put 0 through and subtract, so I have a bracket there, put the 0 through and we have the natural log of 1. Many of you would know that that is 0, so we, can, we could ignore that anyway if we wanted to. Put 0 through here and we have minus the natural log of 2. So if we remove this bracket here we have the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 4. We know natural log of 1 is 0 and so we just got left with plus the natural log of 2. We can simplify this by using the addition rule for logs 
Okay, natural log of 3 plus natural log of 2 is exactly the same then as the natural log of 3 times 2. And then we're subtracting natural log of 4, so that's the same as dividing by 4. Clean this up, and you've got the exact value, which is what we're asked for, 6 over 4, or that cancels to 3 over 2. The natural log then of 3 over 2 is the area, R. Okay? You might even want to put units squared afterwards. Okay? But that now brings us to the end of this particular part of the question.